spiritual warrior upholds the truth. The spiritual warrior upholds the dharma or right action of his or her society. That's the challenge of the spiritual warrior today, to speak up for the truth. Throughout the history of the planet, Spiritual warriors have always risen to uphold the truth and the Dharma. The king of Dharma is known as Rama. And then in the Western tradition, we have Abraham. Abraham spoke the truth to Nimrod fearlessly. Nimrod said, don't you know I'm a God you should worship me? And what did Abraham do? He said, sure, you just have to make the sun rise in the west, and I'll worship you. And for speaking the truth, he got thrown into the fiery furnace, but being so deeply in the truth, he survived. Anyone else around him was incinerated, and including later his brother Harak. And throughout history, people have spoken to Daniel, spoke the truth, who was thrown into the lion's den. And miraculously, he and his key friends all survived. Speaking the truth to power, to evil, takes a spiritual warrior. Nathan Sharansky. And Russia spoke the truth in the Stalinistic era, spent eight years in jail. He held the truth, and that truth included moral clarity. That's what we face today. There's a lack of moral clarity. People take this position or that position, but they're not grounded in the deeper truth. Key for understanding a spiritual warrior is they are deeply grounded in the cosmic truth and the cosmic dharma and spiritual truth of their own societies as well. And that's a key thing to understand. They aren't just making up their own rules, they aren't just acting any way they think is right. They're in alignment with the Dharma of that society. In this society, the Western society, we're talking about the Biblical Ten Commandments. In the yoga world, we're talking about the Yamas and the Yamas. And in Buddhist world, we talk about the Buddhist Eightfold Path. These are the cosmic teachings in the cosmic alignment. That's how you see that. That person is also has developed their own quality of character and depth. So as they speak the truth and they live the truth and they express the truth, that quality comes through. So these spiritual warriors are not in any way to be associated with the social justice warriors. Or making up their own rules, making up their own connections, go, go around attacking people like like uh, packs of hyenas with weapons, hitting people in the head with you know uh, unarmed people with, with chains. This is not spiritual work. This is a, a a farce. Okay, that's not really what my interest is. My interest is it is time. In our society and around the world, people begin to speak up for the greater cosmic truth, social truth, and ultimately upholding the Dharma that has been with us since the beginning of time. And certainly since the biblical time of 3,400 years ago. And we have models now, in the Eastern tradition, 
There's a thing called you guys, which are thousands of years cycle. Not everybody agrees what that is, but some people are now saying we're now entering, leaving the businessman of Kali Yuga, and we're moving into the Kshatriya time, which is the cycle of the spiritual warrior, which is exactly what our world society needs is the emergence of spiritual warriors to inspire people to begin living in the cycles of cosmic truth again. Some people say that we entered into this uh, new cycle of Kshatra. That is fascinating and really good because we're just tipping into it and it's time now to speak the truth. One very inspirational uh, uh, person is Elijah. Elijah spoke the truth to Ahab. Ahab hated it. But Elijah kept speaking the truth until eventually that truth prevailed. And the society came back into harmony with the divine. So what is called for today at every level? We have our you know, health level, we have our political level, we have our uh, social level, and we have our spiritual level. Is people who are willing to be spiritual warriors, who are willing to align with the historical truth, with the cosmic truth, and uphold by their own example, living that cosmic truth needed throughout the world. I'm not just talking about America. And may we be blessed. May we become inspired that we ourselves become spiritual warriors and can hold that cosmic truth and that Dharma truth and bring our society back into the way of God, into the way of Dharma, and take us into the golden age of peace. Shalom, 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 shanti, shanti, shanti. Om, oh, thank you, Asin.